Hello then, uh, my good friends of YouTube. Um, I've been asked uh, recently, well, quite a, while, a few weeks ago back actually, um, if I would uh, just film all my transformers, all my high voltage transformers. I've got quite a few. Um, not enough, uh, but uh, I do have quite a few. Starting with these ones. Uh, let's start with these ones. Right then. These are. Um, Skirt, there we go. These are Coffee Treviso, it Italy. Basically, they're made in Italy. And these are 240 volts at 50 hertz at 1 amp. And the secondary is 2 times 4 kV at 20 milliamps. And um, that's just the outputs just there. It's the same as this one. This one exactly the same. These two are exactly the same, these ones are. And uh, I've got another one which is very, very similar. It's the same size, but it's only got to one single output just there. Um, the top of it was broken off, but it still works. And this is just 1 times 8 kV at 20 milliamps. And I've got another one made by the same company. This is a 1 8 kV and this one is 30 milliamps and uh, you can just see just a bit some bobs there Treviso Treviso Italy I don't know how you would pronounce that but it's coffee as C-O-F-I and Treviso Italy so that's those four which are the same same make and same sort of transformer and so then we go to another one which is a twin output and you've seen this one before actually um, and this one is a trafo trafo type 52L I'm just focusing again and this is made by Danfoss and this is 2 times 5 kV at 20 milliamps now I've got another one here which is very this similar and this one is 240 volts in, 1.2 amps, 50 hertz, secondary, 10,000 volts at 23 milliamps, and that is a twin output as well. I've got another one here, which is a Danfoss, and this is a 220 volts in, 1.1 amps, 50 hertz, secondary, 8 kV at 20 milliamps. And that's those ones there. Now, going to, I've got one NST here, which is a, this is a perfectly good war, um, working order. Uh, the, the original um, output, secondary outputs were just little screws just like this. And I changed them and put these on because they're a lot easier to attach, attached, attach uh, cables to, just like that. And I've just made sure that people know live parts. These are the live ends, just here. And that is a 10 kV output. And then, of course, I've got my flyback transformers, as you know. Over 100 of them now. And I've got two MOT transformers. Quite a big ones as well, these ones are. This is my biggest one. I got this one today, actually, when I went to the scrapyard. It's quite a big one. It's bigger than your normal size. I've got three mots. I've got a little one which is in a carrier bag somewhere. Which was originally soaked in oil. But the container split so I had to, because uh, I kicked it by accident and I'd take it out and stick it in a couple of carrier bags because it was just peeing oil everywhere. So I've got those as well there. Um, this is another NST, but unfortunately only one side works, which I shall give you a demonstration. I'm just get a bit of wire. It's quite annoying actually because it's quite a nice um, neon sign transformer. I did put these original on so I can basically just crocodile clip and connect a lot easier as the wire goes onto there and then. 
focus in your silly phone. The wire goes through a side rubber grommet there and then attaches just there which makes it a lot easier than having to keep going inside all the time. So it looks pretty good with these little standoffs on. Perfectly insulated, perfectly safe. So um, I'll just show you that. <coughs> See on this side look, that's all I can get out of that, which is a bit annoying. But of course when you connect connect to the other side. So unfortunately that one's not very happy. Not very well, as one side is broken. But anyway. And then I go to this. This is a uh, insect transformer, insect uh, killer transformer. You know, out of those insect um, zappers. It's a zapper transformer. It's got a. Um, you see that there? That's a capacitor just inside there, so it gives it that um, that zap instead of an arc. You know, the arc you're just seeing off that. Instead of that, you get the zzz, which you'll see. We you know. When I uh, switch it on, if I can find my plug. <sighs> Bloody raining again. There you go. See, um, um, capacitor makes so much of a difference. Right, so going on to something else. Do you remember this from one of my from the scrapyard, my latest video of scrapyard bits? Well, do you remember how the, uh, the terminals just there were uh, broken off and uh, it only left a very slight uh, protruding piece of steel uh, metal? Um, and I've managed to solder on these flexible wires and um, I've just glued the crap out of it to uh, to make sure it you know it stays on there so I'll give you a demonstration of that one you can hear it straight away some power in this little transformer So uh, that's that one. Let's turn that one off. And now we go to this one. <sighs> right, what this what's inside of this one in this is an old video I did quite some time ago. I had these. I'm just turn my light on, on my phone, hold on. I had these, which are out of very old photocopiers. They're 6.4 kV out at I can't remember the milliamp now, it's only a low milliamp, milliamp. it's very low anyway, I can't remember it, so uh, I'm not going to say it because uh, it'll probably be wrong because I can't remember. But anyway, what I've done, I've uh, taken two of these out and put them inside of this box and put them both in parallel so you get twice the, the amperage out of it. So I'm going to turn this on which you'll hear distinctive high frequency. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can hear it. But this is just one of them on it. I 
and then this is both of them on as I've got two switches down the back just here see that's the power and then this switches it over to the uh, the second one on so now you can hear two Can you see can you see the arcs on the end of the screwdriver? <coughs> Pretty cool, eh? That's just running off this. It's, this is, I think this go, the, these go up to, um, I think it's 32 volts or something like that, these these transformers go up to. But I was just putting 25 volts through it anyway, with my power supply that I've, yes, I found that at the scrapyard some time ago. So, uh, there you go. That's my high voltage transformers. I've got quite a few. Um... Oh yeah, there's something I wanted to mention to you as well guys. Uh, do you remember when I said I was going to redo this? Well I managed to get some cable in today, I'll show you actually. I've got, I've got quite a bit of cable in from, um, from the scrapyard. Some good thick stuff. You know, I'll just see if I can focus in for you. There you go. I've got a load of this wire. It cost me six quid. And there's quite a bit of it there. As you can see there's quite a bit of it. Uh, it's, it's nice thick stuff and this is a cuttings off it and it's very 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 strong and it I've actually tried it and it doesn't get as hot as what the other stuff was when I was running that very large transformer oh yeah I nearly forgot <laughs> excuse me and there's me the high voltage transformer so that's another one to my collection so as you can see I do have quite a lot of high voltage transformers. <sighs> but this is this is pretty cool though, this insect one. I do like the arcs off that. It's small but powerful, but if you touch it, it's gonna certainly sting. <laughs> Those poor bloody uh, poor insects. Yeah, so uh, it's good when you can, you know, stick some high, uh, some standoffs onto something that makes it a little bit makes it look a little bit more interesting and I've got quite a few of them in here which I've got from the scrapyard. Um, these uh, standoffs were out of uh, a very very large um, steel box that um, some a feed went into and then it's dissipated into other sections of this large box which these standoffs were holding up these um, large copper strips so I managed to get into it and get all these out of it that's an old one but yeah I would like to uh, going off the subject there but I would like to use those standoffs on and stick this into a, a steel steel box of some sort and uh, hopefully use my standoffs onto it, even using these standoffs onto it, using them as the main output, which would be nice. I did get a steel box, which is just over here. There's a few project boxes. That one's a metal one, but unfortunately it's just a little bit too small for that to go into, so I have to keep my me, 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 uh, eyes open for a decent sized box. I could have used this plastic one, but with it getting hot and stuff, already I've burnt this. And I was quite lucky. It's quite dangerous, really, um, having hot arcs falling into oil. But I managed to get these pieces before they fell through. I don't know whether or not they would self-extinguish with the oil, but you never can tell. Or be too 
careful. So, but anyway, cool blimey, 15 minutes. Sorry guys to uh, keep you all from other things and me chattering on and talking as usual. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway of my uh, high voltage transformers and you got to saw a few arcs there. Um, oh yeah, I've got that one there as well. That's one of those. That's one of these. The box was damaged, so I stuck it inside of there. <laughs> anyway, guys, look after yourselves. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, if you're a new viewer to my channel, then please subscribe. Um, and uh, you know, comment and rate my videos. Look after yourselves, and thanks for watching.